Hi, I'm Grant Kane, linebacker coach, Coastal Carolina University, and this is linebackers' drills, skills, and mentality. All right, the mentality of your linebackers and linebackers and leadership, I think it all goes together. Your linebackers are the heart and soul of your defensive unit, right there in the middle. They're the core guys, the guys that everybody else has got to listen to when the call comes in. They've got to get the front seven moving around and going. They need to be enthusiastic. They've got to have an attitude and intensity that sets the tempo and the mentality for your entire defense. Okay, so when you're looking for linebackers to play in your defense, see past, I mean, physical attributes are very important. But look for guys that are going to be the, that you want to be the heart and soul of your defense. Those intangible assets um, are, are what's going to hold your team together when they reach adverse situations. Okay, the intangibles that you're looking for in your linebackers. One is heart. Um, determination and desire combine to make up what kind of heart you got as a player. You want them to be relentless in pursuit of the football, have an undying work, work ethic on and off the field. Quitting can't be an option for these guys. Attitude, you want them to be positive and make the players around them positive guys. Make the players around them want to play. Uh, do they have the ability to seize the opportunity? Make the big play, come through when your team needs it the most. And do they have the winning edge? An attempt, they, win, they try to win in everything they do. Um, whether it's in the weight room or on the field or during sprints or in the classroom, They've got a winning edge attitude where they're trying to beat the guy next to them and, and doing it with a positive attitude. We try to develop in our guys, we, we, we have a little motto called LBC. And a lot of people, even the guys on the team, think that stands for linebacking core. Well, it stands for leaders by choice. We challenge each one of our linebackers to lead by choice. That's in the classroom. That's on the field. Okay? We want them to lead. We want them to want to lead. So we try to motivate them in that fashion by, uh, by classifying them as a special group called the LBC. And we break it down to that every single day. And we ask them if, if you're ready to lead by choice. Not just lead because you're forced into it, but you want to lead. And you want to develop the skills to be a leader. Because in leadership, you don't just wake up one day and you're the leader of a company or you're president of the United States. It's a journey. And we've got to attempt to help facilitate that every day we have them in practice. Okay, our primary drills, fundamental focus for our linebackers, things we need to incorporate every day into our new individual time. This is our daily bread. We've got to have it. We'll work footwork. We'll work some vision reaction drills. We'll work tackling. We'll work drops. And we'll work some turnover drills. Somehow, some way, uh, and we'll put into a game situation how we work those drills every single day. Bags, for footwork, we'll work bags, um, defeat the block drills, cut drills, vision reaction. Training the eyes, again, one of the most important tools in linebackers is your vision, is your eyes, and using them, to, you, getting your eyes and your body working together to change direction when the ball changes direction. Tackling, we want to be technique-oriented tackles. Fundamental, take pride in not missing tackle, tackles, take pride in our angles. We work open and angle tackles. As many, as many chances as we get to work those, we will. Drops, we want to be sound in our drop give ourselves a chance to make plays. We also work some ball skills so when we do put ourselves in good position, we know what to do with it. Turnovers, linebackers are around the ball more than any other player in your defense. They need to be sound in the art of recovering a fumble, scooping a fumble, stripping the ball, creating turnovers. They're around the ball more than anybody else in your defense, so they need to be prepared and coached up on how to do it. All right, when we're working with our linebackers, the first thing we talk about is their stance. It's the base for everything they do. It all starts with their stance. Whether you're taking on a block, you're finishing off a tackle, or you're changing direction, you want to start with a good stance. And that's the position you're going to be in when you do all those things. So we talked about having their feet right underneath their armpits in a good power position. Okay? Because if you were to jump up on this table right here, you wouldn't have your feet out wide or right next to one another. You'd have a good base, all your power points aligned. So we want to get their feet right underneath them. Okay, their toes pointed forward, have a nice knee bend right here, here and uh, sink their hips. And, you know, most linebacker coaches will tell you they want them to be comfortable, but they want them playing low, okay? And so we just teach them like we'd teach a, a baseball player who was standing in the outfield, hands on the knees, 
um, and then just let your hands drop, boom, and you fall into a good linebacker position with your back straight and your eyes up so you can see everything. Let the, you know, let the numbers show. Get that chest out, that'll keep your eyes up. Weight distribution. We tell our guys, we want to take that weight, we want to take that weight, and uh, we've got to be able to go in any direction, so we're going to go ahead and center our weight by putting 70% of our weight on the inside balls of our feet. Really focus on that, so now we can push off and go either direction. If you're just resting with, with your uh, feet on the ground flat-footed, then you have to shift your weight to one side before you go to the other. So we want to have our feet, toes ahead, heels barely grazing the grass back there. You don't want to be on your toes, but you don't want to be on your heels. Somewhere in between, where if somebody were to come up and push me right now, they wouldn't knock me back, okay? And then focus that weight on the inside balls of your feet so you can react and go to the left, to the right, 45, 45 back. Again, all your weight is focused center into your core so you can react and change direction in the most efficient manner possible. Because that fraction of a second could be the difference of you making the tackle and you missing that tackle. And get comfortable. Relax those arms. And again, it's got to become a natural feeling. We'll get our guys in their stance, get them where we want them, nice and low, and we'll compete with them. We can't run with our guys. We can't lift with our guys. But I can get in my stance and I can hold it and try to hold it for longer than them. So we compete with our guys to see who can hold their stance longer, the coach or the player. And again, it's a good muscle memory exercise to do on the first day of practice. One of the warm-ups we'll do, we try to do it pre-practice. We try to do it pre-practice as a tennis ball drill where we stick a linebacker five yards from the coach. He'll get in his stance, and the coach will just roll the tennis ball to the left. The linebacker will now shuffle, not crossing his feet, receive the ball like an infielder would a ground ball, toss it back to the coach, and the coach will then redirect him. He might have him going left, right. They always want to try to come back to the middle. But again, we want to move in left and right, staying low to the ground in a good football position, getting comfortable with what they have. It's also working hand-eye coordination. So you're working quickness, you're working good stance, you're working hand-eye coordination all in this drill. And again, it's something simple you can do before they even put their helmets on out there on the field. Now we love to work with the shoots um, when we're training our guys' muscle memory and their movements of staying low in a good football position. The first drill we'll do with them is a step slide drill. Um, just take a short six inch step all the way through the chutes. Uh, we train this six inch step as our read step. Uh, when we get our first read as a linebacker, we want a six inch step so if the ball changes direction, we can change quickly with it. We don't want a big step. We don't want our foot to be off the ground when, that, when the running back changes direction on us. Then we'll get into a shuffle where we're shuffling laterally through the chute. Again, keeping our eyes on the coach. Got a nice good posture and we're not crossing our feet as we work all the way through the chute and back. We'll do some get offs where they're just coming out of their stance as fast as they can, trying to get out of their shadow without taking a false step and while staying low in the chute. So start them in the chute and have them explode all the way out, staying nice and low as fast as they can. Focus on not letting them have a false step. You don't ever want to take one step backwards and then one step just to get back to where you were. You're taking two just to get back to your original position, costing you precious time when you're trying to fill a hole or get to where your spot you needed to be. The last drill we're doing the shoots is a stuff and drive drill where we're getting our stance nice and low in the shoots and we have a, um, an opponent holding a bag. We want to fire out of our hips, come out of our stance, get our arms out, hands out in front of us, hands behind your eyes, fire out, lock out, and drive that bag all the way out of the chute. Okay, when we get into our chute work, we're training some muscle memory, trying to keep our guys low in that good football position. Okay, we got our linebacker up. First thing he's gonna do is his steps. Again, he's gonna keep, go ahead and start there, Derek. Go. Again, he's working his steps. Again, we, our first step as a linebacker, we don't want it to be more than six inches right there, so in case it's a counter, we can adjust and react. Also gonna work a shuffle in the chutes. Lateral shuffle, go. Side shuffle, not crossing our feet. Again, staying low, training our hips to stay low, our eyes up, our chest out. And the last thing we'll do will be a drive drill where we're working a uh, coming out of our hips and stuffing an offensive lineman or fullback in the gap using a stuff technique to two gap. Ready? Go. Boom. Really firing off, getting our hand placement right. We go in the shoots to keep us low because we really want our guys to understand that when you come and you shoot those hands, you want your hands out in front of your eyes 
and that'll keep your body position low. And those are some of the shoot drills we do in warm-ups. Second primary drill we'll work is footwork, and we do this with bags. We do bags every single day to set the tempo. We'll start with some one-foot run-throughs, then some two-foot run-throughs, and each time they start a drill at the top of the bags, they will start in their stance. Again, focusing on not having a false step. Focus, look at your guys and make sure they're coming out of a good stance, especially early on in the season. They have a tendency to get lazy and just, when it's their turn to go, come out and just run through the bags. We want them to start in their stance, not have a false step, and do the drill correctly. And make sure they finish through the last cone. After we do one step and two step run throughs, we'll do a uh, change of direction drill. We call it it's icky shuffle. And then uh, we'll do some slalom skier run throughs where they're going all the way around the bag. Again, on the icky and the slalom, we're always planning with our outside foot, sinking our hips and staying low. Then we'll have them face the coach here and do a forward backward weave. And uh, after they run through it a couple times and they get used to it, we like to incorporate a ball because we want them to keep their eyes up. Again, the bags aren't moving. They need to know where they're at. Don't mess up the bags that coach spent all that time fixing and putting there, okay? And the bags, we usually, I usually use two feet. I just get both my feet and uh, separate each bag. That seems like to be a nice distance between the bags. After we do a forward backward weave, we'll do a lateral run through, and we, then we'll start combining maybe the weave with the lateral run through, um, get creative with it. Again, just working foot coordination through these bag drills. Because if you can't stay on your feet, then you can't make plays. Last thing primary drill-wise that we talk about with our guys is the fundamentals of tackling. We want to be the best tacklers on the team at linebacker. We got the most opportunities, we got the most chances, so we need to be fundamentally sound and take pride in it. We get on our guys about a couple things. Number one, they hear us say all the time from every coach on the defensive unit, hit, roll, drive. We want to hit, get our head across, make good contact nice and low, and then roll. Roll, that's where all your power is. It's in your hips. We want to get our head across and boom, roll those hips and then drive that ball carrier back. So hit, roll, drive, hit, roll, drive is all they hear when they're making a tackle in closed space or even in the open field. The next thing they always hear when we talk about tackling is maintain leverage. We give them an aiming point. If you're coming from an angle inside out or outside in, take the near number, the near leg, the near shoulder, the near hip, okay? Give your guys an aiming point. We use the near number, okay? But nothing wrong with either one of them. They've got to have something to focus their eyes. Again, and the lower the better, we think. So um, the number seems to be a stationary target and a bigger target. Again, focus on something so you can hit what you're looking at. If you are squared up ever with a ball carrier, you want to focus your eyes low, okay? And you want to attack. It's a lot easier to dodge something moving at me slow then it would be a speeding bullet coming at me. So be aggressive, trust your technique, and attack. Keep your good football position throughout. Don't get your feet crossed up. And when you do wrap up and make a tackle, grab cloth. All right, when we're talking to our linebackers being fundamental tacklers, um, there's a couple fundamental drills that we like to use. Uh, the first thing we do is we get them on one knee, partner up right in front of one another, both take the right knee, we're going to make a six inch step with the foot we have on the ground, roll our hips, wrap up, grab cloth. Then we'll go to two knees where we're partnering up, facing each other. You got a ball carrier and you got a defender. The linebacker is going to come out of his hips, wrap up, and grab cloth. Again, once we get the basics down, we can stand them up. Now they know how to use their hips, they know how to take a six inch step, okay? And now we'll separate them by two yards. And we'll have them just step up in and make a tackle from two yards away. So again, we're partnered up, two yards separation. Take a step into the ball carrier. Put your face mask right on the ball. Kiss the football. Stay nice and low. Roll your hips. Wrap up, grab cloth. Run your feet. Put it all together right there. So start on one knee. Then go to two knee to work on the hip roll. Then stand them up in a closed space. All right, closed space tackling drill. We start this drill on one knee. OK, they have the right knee down. You got your ball carrier, you got your linebacker. And again, we're working, the purpose of this drill is to work the fundamentals 
of a tackle. We're putting them as close as we can and working the last couple elements of the tackle. We got a six inch step with our linebacker. Go. Then he's going to roll his hips. Go. Roll you. Go ahead and roll him. Roll him up and throw that body forward. Throw them hips forward. Good. Wrap up and grab cloth. Ball carrier, protect yourself, okay? He's going to be popping those hips into you. You need to protect yourself. Have a strong back for this drill. Again, let's see it one time. On go, we're going to do it. Then we're going to reload and repeat three times. Ready? Go. Good. Back, 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 back. Control. Give him a base. Give him a base now, ball carrier. All right. All right. Ready? Go. Good. Reload, 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 and repeat. Go. Good. It's a six-inch stab, jab step right here with your outside foot. Um, mimicking getting your foot across the defender, the ball carrier, your head across and rolling your feet. All right, now I'll go to two knees. Same thing, ball carrier, defender. Now we're just gonna throw our hips out, really just fall into the ball carrier. Again, we're just working on getting our hips into our tackle. Just trying to create more power when we tackle. We're still shooting, out, shooting the arms underneath the armpits, reaching back here and grabbing that cloth to secure that tackle. Ready, go. Good, reload. Repeat, go. Reload, repeat, go. Good. Now we'll stand him up. All right. Now we'll have his hat fall right here on the inside shoulder. Doesn't matter which one. They always want to fall off to a side. Preferably, we want to kiss the football. We're going to get down into good football position. Good linebacker stance, good football position. Again, now we're going to finish the last two steps of a tackle. Step into it, roll your hips, run your feet, and drive. Go. Good, back, reload, repeat one more time, go, reload, now start at an angle, he's going to start right here, okay, above the ball carrier, again, he's going to approach at an angle, try to get his foot outside the ball carrier, his head outside the ball, across the ball carrier, then get his hips back to square, and roll him at the same time, drive his feet and run him back, to create uh, no more yardage for the ball carrier, ready, go, good. One more time, hustle back, go, good. Coaching points here, remain in a good football position throughout the drill, get your head across, get that outside foot planted to give yourself a good base so the ball carrier can't fall ahead for more yardage. Once they get that down, we can work a fit, feet fit and finish drill, which is great when, you get, when you're pre-pads, okay, when you're in that acclimatization period where you can't use, uh, when you don't have pads on, so you can't do some full contact stuff, but you can just work pure technique. And the feet fit and finish is great. You'll take a bag and put a ball carrier on one side, defender on the other. Okay? The ball carrier will work both sides of the bag, moving from one side to the other as fast as he can. The defender will mimic the movements, staying nice and low in a good football position. Now the one thing you one coaching point here is when they meet up in the gap, okay, you want your defender to, you want your linebacker to shoot his hands. Just like he would shoot his hands to wrap up and make a tackle, well, instead of wrapping them up, we're just going to shoot and tag the breastplate. So we'll go three times here. So we'll go to the left, to the right, and then when we come back to the left, the linebacker will finish off the drill by making a nice tackle in the gap, nice and low. Now he will wrap him up instead of shooting his hands at the breastplate. We'll wrap him up, roll our hips, and run our feet. If you have time in the individual and you want to progress from that, go ahead and back both players up, okay? Five yards behind the bag, have the ball carrier sprint at the bag, okay, and choose a gap. And at the same time that the ball carrier takes off towards the bag, the linebacker will do the same thing, react to the ball carrier, fill the hole, and make a good form tackle. Again, we're working technique and reaction, okay? So we're getting our eyes and our body to work together here on this drill. Okay, our vision drills. Vision is, is vitally important to a linebacker, to be able to see what you need to see and react to it. That's the number one question we get when we talk to other coaches and, and, and sometimes we ask, as coaches, is what is your guy looking at? So we teach, our teaching progression with our linebackers goes as such. We teach them how to get lined up. We teach them their assignment and then we teach them their vision progression. If this does that, where do my eyes go next? Okay, and we try to limit it as much as we can so they can play with confidence in their, in their assignment and play fast. But we want their eyes to be trained up to look at what we want them to look at. Where your eyes go is vitally important, and it's one of your most important physical tools that you'll have in a linebacker. A linebacker with good vision that's not as fast as somebody else, 
okay, can make up for that because his vision is so good. We teach triangle read. Uh, our back will give us the first step, so we're reading through our under keys, through the offensive line, to the back, okay? And uh, so if I'm lined up in a 20 technique right here or a 10 technique, my back is going to give me my first step. The back goes to the left. I'm taking my six-inch read step there. Now, if I, my under keys, okay, if they give me anything else, a pull, okay, or a pass read by being high, well, that's going to change my next step. But the back is going to give me my first step. And everybody wants to know, everybody always asks the question, well, if he's looking at the back, how's he going to see this guy? And, and our guys ask us as coaches that all the time, and I just tell them this. If you were to look at the center of this circle, okay, and focused on the center circle, okay, you can't tell me you can't see those outside rings. All right, so we tell them what to focus on, but we tell them to feel, with their, and, feel and know what's going on around them. And any pre-snap reads you get, okay, that, that you can study up and film and get through, you know, is the offensive lineman heavy in his stance or light? Those are all giveaways, too. So we tell our guys, we're looking at that back, but if we see a pull through our peripheral vision or we see a pass set or hi-hat read through our peripheral vision that, or a down block where we need to step up and feel, again, you've got to feel all that. And so give them this little example, have them focus in the middle of that circle and ask them if they can see the rings outside. And they'll say yes and then say it's not that hard. One vision reaction drill we do is a quarterback lane drill. And uh, we'll have the quarterback right there at the middle cone, set up two linebackers in 30 techniques. And now there's three different lanes that the quarterback can go in on the snap. One is straight down the line. That's lane one. That's a run read for our backers. So the front side backer will fill the hole, and the back side backer will fill uh, the A-gap hole right there, not giving them a cutback crease if they get that lane one run read. Second lane they get is a run, could be an outside zone, could be a, a sprint draw, or a play action read. So what we do is if the quarterback shows the ball, that'll be a run read for both our backers. And if he shows his hand instead of the ball when he's dropping in lane two, that'll be a pass read for him. So now they're having to focus on something even smaller. Again, you're not necessarily always telling your linebackers to read the quarterback, but it's teaching these guys in this drill how to react to it. The third lane is a pass lane, straight drop back by the quarterback. We'll get our guys into their pass drops, okay? Now, once they get into their pass drops, if the quarterback were to take off and run, we want to come and meet the quarterback and make a dual tackle with each linebacker fitting one, one side of the body on the ball carrier with their hat on the near side of the body. The way we do this drill is we'll get them to repeat and reload three times. So the we'll, quarterback may go down lane one, Right here, the linebackers will fill, get back to their 30 techniques, and then we'll go again, and we go three times.